Hello and welcome to the Old World Gorage Channel. So I just got um, a package today uh, from USA uh, with this uh, Petronic part. I am going to replace the, the standard coil with this flamethrower uh, coil. Um, it says it uses up to 40,000 uh, volts for the, for the ignition. I've been using uh, these parts um, are the coil also in my in my US Ford, especially in my in my Ford Galaxy, and uh, yeah, it works, and I think it makes sense to to update to a better coil if you if you're getting rid of the of the points. So um, yeah, this is the the replacement part uh, to replace the points. Um, you see, it's just um, to screw on. Uh, inside the distributor yeah and I'm going to show you guys step by step one important point is don't forget to mark the distributor with some touch paint before you remove it it will just save you some pain uh, when trying uh, to to get it back I'm uh, painting it down here and I'm going to paint it um, where the distributor rotor is showing um, so I can really start it back up, back up again. So I removed the distributor cap and the rotor and the just where um, the, the rotor was uh, pointing I just got a little bit uh, touch of paint right here so I can really install the distributor height was, um, the rotor height was so when the points are removed and the uh, pointless um, ignition is uh, installed I just get it back on so the engine starts and I can um, just um, uh, adjust the ignition uh, with the ignition pistol and uh, you know it saves you, saves you a little bit time trying to figure out uh, why the engine maybe does not start and maybe the ignition setting is is quite off uh, when you start to remove uh, these things and also a good idea um, there is a mark on the distribution, uh, not the distribution, on the flywheel where they pointed red, and you can see it now when the, the um, well when the um, when the flywheel turns here in this way counterclockwise. You can see here the timing marks. So when I I uh, see it when everything is installed to better seeing, I just also mark everything red, so I can just uh, get it uh, spot on. Um, I'm probably going to be somewhere here in between trying um, to get like a like a eight uh, before a top dead center, eight degrees. That's that's uh, some something I, I learned from my thoughts, and I'm quite happy there without knocking um, at high refs. And uh, it seems to me a good point um, to start there. I also going to maybe increase a little bit the, the spark plug gap. This are also I think that that work good in, in other engines. And let's see how how this car is going to react. I must say I when I pick up the car I was really very happy with the engine. It really was pulling strong. I didn't check the the valve clearances yet. But I'm going to do that, but I'm trying to not mess up with, with the engine that was um, really going strong in the first place. Uh, the carburetor looks dirty um, from some angles, but uh, it was going good. Maybe just clean it a little bit up. Um, I don't think I got time um, to... Um, to just uh, remove it, get some new gaskets on and everything. So I would leave it there if everything is going running well and uh, no leaks, etc. Yeah, I think that the engine is, is actually a strong point uh, from this car because uh, the body yeah, has, uh, has some rust issues and was uh, fixed. Uh, like fixed badly in the past, you know, when this car maybe in the 80s was really cheap. Um, the person that own it uh, didn't want to spend too much money or maybe the workshop just so yeah, it's just another old car. Yeah, but I, I, le I leave it, I leave it alone there and uh, I think um, it's, a, it's a quite a good car uh, for the price uh, that uh, we got it. Important point 
Uh, don't forget to check uh, with terminals a negative and positive uh, on your coil. Just turn on the ignition. Got uh, my trustworthy checker. Just going to check. So this is positive. This is negative. I'm going to mark uh, the wires so the new coil is uh, correctly installed. So uh, the points and the um, condenser uh, is removed. You can see here the, the points uh, with its base. Uh, just the negative wire has been replaced with a positive and the negative wire for the, uh, for the igniter that uh, I'm using um, here. Um, basically it's pretty easy to just remove everything. I lubricated like, like the vacuum um, ignition uh, movement uh, with a little bit spray so um, everything is clean and functional and as you can see here this was the older um, pin side with which it moves it pick up the signal uh, and yeah um, it times the, the ignition uh, from the coil well I'm uh, going to also lubricate this your inside with some um, it's a little bit engine oil some drips there and then it's uh, ready to get back inside the car so the distributor is packed in uh, the engine uh, really make sure um, you hit uh, your marks that you have done before so you have no trouble uh, back starting up the car just uh, the shaft um, to the, to the housing and the housing um, to the engine. I'm going to screw down uh, and um, uh, the distributor now, um, remount the, the, uh, the, the rotor and cap and uh, uh, connect the electrics is pretty easy and then I'm going to, to mount back again the gearbox and then see if it starts the engine and after the engine is run up I'm going to check uh, the timing. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time on the Old World Gorage channel.